Hi guys, I thought I'd um, touch base really about these um, Pylon Tech batteries, about why we've now got seven instead of eight, and um, uh, about a little bit about the warranty. So we had problems when we bought these with one not well, not turning on, all the others switched on fine. The last one it wouldn't switch on. It, it went back, uh, and the company were fine about that. They paid for it to be returned. They didn't have any others in stock to send out, but apparently if they can fix it, they don't do that anyway. They have to repair it um, under the Pylon Tech um, warranty, even if it's brand new and has not been um, used at all. They have to repair it and send it back, so leaving you waiting. So if I'd have ordered a fridge or a freezer and it wouldn't work, a lot of companies would just go, something wrong with it send it back and we'll replace it uh, they don't do that apparently and I've got an email saying that and it's basically just says to, just to be warned that that's what the, the um, their guidelines is or their their uh, that's what their warranty is um, I didn't have it back in the end because I started to lose faith in uh, Pylon Tech a little bit um, mainly because when we switched these on, they were they all came on fine. The seven that we've got, we had left, they came on fine. But then one of them, after five minutes, went red. Had an alert come on our touch screen, and it said battery internal failure. Of course, that sounds horrendous. Battery internal failure, and. Uh, it stayed like that for a minute or two and then went off and then it was worked fine it's worked fine ever since uh, and I rang the company up and I said look you know after we've had one that's not switched on one that's just come up and out no re for no reason all the others are fine battery internal failure what, what's going on and he said well they do do things like that until they're fully charged they do strange things and so you know you think well is that right that's that's a strange and worrying thing for it to do. Now, obviously, it, things shouldn't do that, really, is my opinion. Things shouldn't be warning you there's an internal failure. Uh, but that's, that's just they sort of shrug the shoulders. That's that's what happens with these batteries. They they have weird things come up. The first thing you, the first thing you must do is get a charge into it, which is fine, because that's what we were trying to do at the time, but it was only on for five minutes before it. Um, had an internal failure so um, these little things made me not want the other battery you know I'd, I'd laid out for these I felt almost stuck with them if you, if you, if you like we, we were still under the 30 day warranty to actually send the other one and turn to keep it and have our money back um, but they wouldn't replace it I wanted a, a replacement and not this one back because I didn't believe you know that there was something not right with it uh, and the company had been running it on cycles for a, every weekend for about a month and I thought you know I actually wrote I said look I feel this is second hand now you've been running cycles on it I mean at that time I'd only had a couple of cycles on these and then every weekend they've been running cycles continuously to test this thing and they updated the firmware well it's frustrating the firmware should be updated when you get these things as far as I'm concerned and uh, so all these things have, have made me quite cautious of pylon tech now um, but having said all that it's worked this is all working fine they charge well they're they're not there's not a lot of fuss involved with them you know now now that they, they were easy to install if I hadn't had all the problems, they would have been very easy to install. Um, so, um, but I'm still waiting on <laughs> on things because I, I've actually I've got I've got the um, proper fuses now for this, and I'm just waiting for a weekend where I've got to shut it all down. It's another worry. You shut it all down and hope that these things switch on. I've got, I'm not worried about the Victron stuff. I have some faith in that stuff. But when all this comes off, is it all going to come back online properly how it should? That was another thing. I do not like their manuals. Their manual is not very good. It's There's different versions of the manual. 
the manual we got with these that comes in the box um, didn't stay it said it needed a suitable type of breaker now on everything example diagrams that I looked at online the suitable type of breaker they've used in a lot of circumstances were these uh, mega fuses that go in this Victron distributor I've got isolation switches fine um, but those were your type of breaker uh, on a lot of example diagrams but having got the other manual it says about a short circuit um, uh, scenario where you need something that can hold back if they short circuit my manual had nothing of that in it and it was only the manual online that someone pointed out to me and thank you for doing that um, that uh, they're not protected if they go into short circuit it will do all sorts of damage so I'm annoyed with, with Parlantec actually I'm, I'm not I'm not too impressed with it you know if something doesn't work it should be all oh, right that's not right sir we'll send you another one out but not not in this case so the thing is they're cheap these are they are cheaper than a lot of others they're not the ones I wanted I was willing to spend all money I wanted battleborn batteries because in America they look the dogs basically um, and I couldn't find anything that there wasn't complaints about when it came to lithium or all sorts of complaints um, about various um, batteries and um, you know these looked like a good option at the time and I think to be honest it's all risky whatever you do it's, it's all all these lithium batteries I mean I could have gone down the cheaper route, could have gone less lead acid, I could have gone golf cart batteries and all that sort of stuff. Um, I wanted the modern thing for fast charging, fast depleting. Hope that you know in, in, in the future it could be charging an electric vehicle and all those sorts of things. The company that I bought them from has actually been really good <laughs> but the, the warning should have been there before I bought them. The, the guy basically warned me that uh, just keep that in mind was in the email just just bear that in mind with pylon tech that these things need fixing and they won't send you out one I mean they will send you out one if it that can't be fixed but you think well why don't you put that on the front of the, you know when you buy them say just bear in mind that when you buy this brand new thing if it doesn't start you it will have to go away and be repaired and we won't just send you one out straight away you know, I'd, people would probably think twice about that. Let's hope they last a really long time and I don't regret buying them. And that goes for everybody that's bought these. I'm, you know, best of luck with it. You know, it's, it's, it's a lot of outlay. And, um, you know, these places might say 10 year warranty. But if it goes wrong, I don't want to be waiting months for it to be repaired. And,. I need, I think if memory serves, for this inverter that I've got, this 10,000 VA inverter, I need, I think it was a six in the manual, I need at least six to run it, to charge the capacitors, I think, if memory serves. Um, so if I have two go down, I can't really run it, as far as I'm concerned. As far as I, as far as I can see, I can't actually run the thing if two go down. So if I have two red lights sharp on here, <laughs> Um, for whatever reason, and it, it you know it does make you worry about it. Then 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 that's then that's that. I'm back to the uh, generator, and we can't be running um, for weeks on a generator continuously with with our set our setup now. Um, we've we've gone further than that now. We've 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 invested in actually a sort of um, a homely way of life that we and I don't really want to go back to. Um, the way it was before with a cool box and especially with a baby we want you know you want the it, it's got to be easy you want to be able to use the washing machine use the fridge get a meal out of the freezer that you've made and, and that sort of thing um, and that's why you want a battery that's reliable with a decent warranty and um, yeah so I think that that's that's where I am re really with the um, with the pylon techs we got our money back on that eighth battery and um, I'm glad we did 
um, because we, we haven't actually needed the extra storage at the moment and I'm not sure how long um, how long these will last I'd rather have the thousand pounds back and um, save it for a rainy day so there's a, another youtuber um, uh, uh, Nicholas Howell and um, he's had these batteries or similar pylon tech batteries not not quite these ones um, but he's had them a lot longer than me and, and he knows a lot of stuff he's helped me out with the wire configuration because um, I just got sent a load of stuff and I was like oh why have I got so many wires and he helped me out so he he's a really good uh, call if you've got pylon tech batteries give him a look up on YouTube we'll put a link in the description to Nicholas uh, it's very useful very useful, knowledgeable guy um, he, he, he seems to know what he's doing whereas I'm just you know I can just wing it uh, I hope this video is useful to someone and um, uh, yeah so uh, leave a comment um, like and subscribe uh, and um, we'll keep you up to date with, with how we're getting on and um, let us know if you've got these batteries if you had any issues so thank you very much for watching and uh, We'll see you again soon.